Well, tonight we are hearing from rescuers who plucked a 30 pound Labradoodle off the face of Tory's Peak. That dog fell 600 feet off a ledge over the weekend. Your mountain reporter Spencer Wilson shows us how they did it. Crews told us that after summoning Tories, the dog's owner looked away for a split second and the dog Zola disappeared. The first step was finding the dog. Rescue crews were searching through binoculars and finally spotted a tiny black dot just under a cornice. There was a storm blowing in and the dog couldn't make it down, so the team needed to get technical. Unfortunately, we were going to have to send a rescuer on a rope no matter what. Teams are used to securing in with ropes, but it's a steep drop and the kind that would make your stomach flip 30 or so feet straight down. This one near the top was probably around 45 degrees. Um, so when you're thinking about something like that, it's a very exposed environment, right? You're looking at basically just a run, almost like a ski run. A rescuer gets down and they improvise a carrying case, a bag that holds some of their other rescue gear. And then she was able to get it in the bag and zip it up uh, with just the head popping out. And then she had to then make that traverse again, but this time with the 30 pound weight swinging between her as we lifted her back up. A moment when you have to trust your gear and your teammates. It was certainly precarious. All's well that ends well for the volunteer group of rescuers and for Zola's family. And when they heard that the dog was alive, they were definitely elated. Um, as we met them on the way out, you could tell they were pretty somber. They didn't know what the situation was gonna be. Um, and then the reunion at the end of the day was very heartwarming. Alpine Rescue Team says that this is a great example of why you should keep your dog on a leash, especially in these high altitude situations. Zola's owner said that the dog will get surgery on its leg, but is expected to make a full recovery. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Oh, great ending. Spencer, thank you so much for that. And Spencer covers Colorado's high country like nobody else. He lives in Summit County. You can reach out to him through cbscolorado.com. We also hope you'll call him and leave him your story ideas at 303-863-TIPS.